Praise the Lord to all the viewers in the name of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. Today I came with a purpose looking at the conflicts and the clashes which are happening between Israel and Palestine. The world is divided, people have different views and different thoughts. Most of them are looking at only the peripheral of the things which are happening for the last one week without understanding the background and the history associated to the Israel. Israel is very small nation and uh, Israel was attacked by the neighboring nations 52 times 44 times they were invaded and they regained all the 44 times back 23 times they were tried to be besieged means they were surrounded by the neighboring nations and they wanted Israel to surrender them and two times they were totally destroyed the Israel and Jerusalem and the place of the worship, the Temple Mount, was totally destroyed. And Hitler killed 6 million people in 1942 to 43. He killed Jews by putting them in gas cylinders, gas furnaces. And Hitler used to hate Jewish people. One of the reasons it could be is because many Jewish people uh, exiled and migrated when they were totally destroyed twice, once by Nebuchadnezzar and second time by Titus of Roman in first century. Many migrants have moved to Europe. Maybe it is because of that that he doesn't want the other nation people to come and migrate to his Europe, especially Germany. Probably he might have called. That's an assumption I'm making don't make it literal. At the same time, Muhammad killed 600 to 900 people, Jewish people, in 6th century because they did not want to follow the monotheistic God which was brought by Muhammad. He beheaded 600 to 900 people in single day. I am quoting this from the sources of Islam, Hadith. Now understand, Israel being a small nation, why so much of persecution? Why so much of suffering? Why so much of trials? If you go to Google and do Israel wars, you will be surprised. The nation with maximum number of wars, the nation with maximum number of invasions, the nation with maximum, though invasions happen, they recovered their land back again. To relate it to the Bible, it is because Israel did not accept Jesus as their personal savior when Jesus came for the first time. So they are going to face all these trials and sufferings until they face the Lord Jesus Christ second time and they accept Jesus as their personal savior. This is, there is a record of Jesus saying this. They need to believe the Lord Jesus Christ as a savior, not as a prophet, which they currently do. Because of this, they have a lot of suffering. I want you to put yourself in the shoes of Israel and think if you are residing in Israel with your family and children, when you are surrounded by 14 nations with a lot of terrorist organizations as part of Iran Ayatollah regime, Hijbul Mujahideen and Hamas militant group, so many Muslim nations like Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, Algeria, Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt, uh, Palestinians and so on more than 14 nations are surrounding Israel and they want to destroy Israel and remove them from the world map why what they did they have been chased by the surrounding nations what did they do 52 times the neighboring nations chased them attacked them understand looking into the historical context of the Israel this land of Israel is the promised land by God to the people of Israel through Abraham. The other name for Israel is also called as Jacob. So all this conflict is because the entire Israel is the God's chosen land for the people of Israel. Now what happened? Because of the Israel's disobedience towards God in following the law of God which is through Moses and to accept Jesus as the personal savior, they did not all these invasions happen. 
But I would like to emphasize on two times they were totally destroyed. Once during the time of 7th century BC by Assyrians who invaded the ten tribes of Northern Kingdom. And the two tribes of Southern Kingdom were invaded by Babylon in 5th century BC. This is uh, the first uh, destruction which happened to Jerusalem. But the second one happened when Jesus came into this world and Jesus was preaching himself as God and the savior of the sins and he is the son of God and God himself. When some Jewish people accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior, there was resilience lot from other Jewish community. They do not want Jesus to come and claim himself as God and overrule the law of God which was given to Moses. Because when Jesus Christ came, we are in grace, not in the law. So there was a big conflict during this time in the first century and the Jewish people killed Jesus. The most evil which happened in this entire world is the killing of Jesus Christ. Is the killing of God, we need to understand. God came to save us from our sins and to give us eternal life. But Israel people, the Jewish people, fail to understand and interpret him and the prophecies which are made as part of the old covenant by all the prophets. They did not interpret that Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the God. But the Jewish people feel Jesus is just the prophet. They even today do not know that Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Son of God. Because of this, they are facing terrible suffering, terrible persecution, terrible trials because they are disobedient to God when God himself came into their land because of this rift and the conflict which happened between Judaism and Christians the entire Israel was under the governance of Roman Emperor so the king Titus in 70 AD destroyed the entire Temple Mount, the place where the Jewish people used to worship, the place where the God of the Bible used to reside in holy of holy place. And if you want to offer any sacrifice for the sin what you tend to commit, they used to come to this temple mount, the sanctuary, and they used to offer the sacrifices for the forgiveness of the sin as part of the old covenant. But this was the second time they were totally destroyed. So what happened as part of these two uh, times when they were totally destroyed, one by Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon and the second time by Roman Emperor Titus, many Jewish people moved to other parts of the world and the place in Israel was left alone. So all the neighboring nations, Muslim nations, Arab nations, they acquired the land of Israel. That is how you see the Palestinians today are nothing but the people who are migrants from all the Islamic Arab nations into Israel because Israel were exiled because of these two destructions when they left to other nations these people occupied. So this happened from first century after the 70 AD when Titus destroyed it till sixth century when Muhammad came into this world when he was born. He brought the revelation from Allah claiming that there is only one God and who is Allah and he wanted to influence that in the place of Makkah where Qureshi was ruling and Makkah at the time in the 6th century had 150 pagan religions where they used to come and worship at Makkah and it was the trade center it was making a lot of money for Qureshi the king but Muhammad coming and contradicting with monotheism God had a conflict with Qureshi and had several uh, wars with him. As part of his conflict, while Qureshi was trying to chase him down, he was running through Jerusalem. And as per the Islamic sources, Hadith, he ascended into heaven in a metaphysical form, where his physical body was on this earth, but his soul went into heaven. And he had interactions at seven heavens from Islamic sources. Bible doesn't believe in seven heavens, we have only one heaven, to be more precise. So as per Islamic sources, Muhammad was ascended into heaven and he had interaction with Allah, Jesus Christ, Moses, Abraham and other prophets. And he came back 
to Jerusalem again from heaven. And he made a historical record of this in 6th century. So, because Muhammad was the prophet of all Muslims and Arabs, they built the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque in the same place where the Jewish people had the Temple Mount, the sanctuary, where the God of the Bible used to come and reside in Holy of Holy Place within the same sanctuary. This is purely conflict. They could have constructed this somewhere, some part of Jerusalem, rather than constructing more or less exactly at the same place where the Jewish people had the sanctuary. For any religion, their faith is the most important. And for Jewish people, the Temple Mount is very key and very holy for them. That's the only holy place for Jewish people. The Temple Mount and the Sanctuary, where God of the Bible used to come and reside. But for Islam, it is the third holiest place because they feel Mecca and Medina are the primary and secondary and the third one is the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque. That's what the promise made by God of the Bible in Amos 9 and Ezekiel that during his second coming, when his second coming is near, all the tribes of Israel will unite back again to form the nation. This was the prophecy which was told, foretold in 9th century BC as well as in the 5th century BC. Those got fulfilled when all these tribes slowly migrated to Israel back and in 1948 they formed the nation back again on 14th May. Now that they came back in 19th century, now they see their land is occupied by Palestinians and their sanctuary, their holy place is being constructed with Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque. There is a conflict. So that's how when 1948 when they came they fought 10 months war with all the Arab nations and they be became victorious. After 1948, Israel had eight wars, two with Palestinians and other six with all Arab nations. So, they acquired some portion of the Israel in 1948. You can see this, uh, the invasion what Israel did. Jerusalem was not part of Israel at the time in 1948. So they had fought a six day war again with the neighboring nations and they acquired most of the Jerusalem. And though Israel claimed Jerusalem as their capital city but no neighboring nation and the world accepted it until 2017 when Trump came and declared Jerusalem, the whole of Jerusalem as the capital city of Israel in 2017 and he moved his embassy from Tel Aviv which was the capital city until then from Tel Aviv back to Jerusalem that's how some nations started to accept Jerusalem as the capital city of Israel the whole of Jerusalem but we still see some portion of West Bank and also the Gaza which is still with the Palestinians as it is the promised land given by God Genesis 12.1 and 12.7, Israel want to acquire Temple Mount, the sanctuary, so that they can start their animal sacrifices system back again. We need to look at holistic, not at the peripheral of the things. See the amount of pain what the Israel is going through. And one request I would tell to all the people who are believers who are watching this video to pray for the peace of Israel. May God bless you all for watching this. Amen.